Hey guys, Kimi here. About a month or two ago, I decided on a fun little video series where anytime a friend or family member of mine has a birthday, I can make a video about them, including any hilarious stories I have about them that my audience might like. I said I'd say how I met them, some personality traits and hobbies of theirs, and funny and or embarrassing stories. And the birthday that was close to the time I had this idea just so happens to be my dad's. Happy birthday, dad. So, how I met my dad. Uh, I was born? And although I wasn't consciously aware of the moment, I see it as me being perfectly sentient and capable of forming full sentences for a single second, to hold out my tiny hand and say, Mother, Father, it is an honor to have the opportunity to be your daughter. And then they were like, what? And then I, I just went back to being a normal baby and do normal baby things. I don't know. Whatever. So, my dad likes baseball, specifically the Baltimore Orioles. All of his clothes have some form of orange on them, so if we lose him in a crowd, all we had to do was look for orange. Now, while I'm in Massachusetts away from him and mom, if I see someone in an orange shirt, I'm like, holy crap, is that my dad? And then it turns out to be the furthest person from my dad. He even works at Home Depot, which is all about orange. Awfully convenient, right? He graduated from the same high school I later graduated from, and I recollect him talking about how his hobbies were writing, making up dice games in which he would lose at, playing video games, and basically anything involving baseball. So he hasn't changed all that much besides the dice games thing. I also vaguely remember him having a collection of tiny plastic baseball caps. I'd walk into a room of my house, see a tiny baseball cap or two, and think, oh, well, my dad's been here. Those of you that have been part of my channel for even a nanosecond know how much I like writing. Well, I picked it up from my dad. He has been published three times. Unfortunately, none of them really made it that far, which is sad to say because he's a really great writer. That being said, any of his future projects that are coming out, I'll be sure to let you guys know, because he doesn't advertise himself enough. He admits that not only did the company he published through not promote his stuff, but he didn't either. He helped me a lot with editing and advice with my projects, and, well, he was my role model with that. I think those books of his got published when I was about 10, and I thought that was really cool and wanted to give writing a try as well. He's a very laid-back guy, except for on the road. Most of my friends often ask me if they can have him as a dad, and I say of course, because when they come over, he watches vines and dank memes with all of us and makes jokes like he's hip with the kids. Both him and mom always welcome my best friends to our house when they need an escape and have even put up the offer to let them move in, because a lot of them have had a rough time with their own lives. I often see him and my mom as polar opposites in certain aspects. My mom is the one who gets angry with restaurants and speaks her minds at the worst time, and my dad is the one who turns into a turtle when she does it. I find I do this sometimes around her too because, wow, her brain doesn't have a filter. I'll talk more about that in November when it's her birthday. Let's see, there was this one time when me, dad, and James were out for dinner at Applebee's, for some reason. Me and James saw the waitress as being kind of flirty with dad. Maybe for tips, maybe because she was genuinely interested, I don't know. She'd come back with drinks without him really asking, and when he thanked her, she'd say in this very fluttery voice, You're oh so very welcome. When she left, me and James were like, Dad, she's totally hitting on you. Like, <laughs> now I was trying to be discreet about it, and like moving his hand where she'd see the wedding ring. No need to embarrass the poor woman. My big mouth brother shouts at her when she comes back, very loudly so the other tables could hear, He's married! Let me add to this, my older brother, who was probably 17 or 18 at the time. He has the mind of a toddler. The woman laughed nervously and walked away to let dad pay the bill. To this day, dad says she wasn't flirting, me and James still say otherwise, and mom agrees after hearing the story. Another thing about my dad is that he's a huge trivia geek. For a while, he'd go around to bars, not to drink, but to play trivia. For a while, he went to this one bar down the street from where we lived at the time. Me and James usually accompanied him. Of course, I wasn't allowed to sit at the bar, being like 14 at the time. So we all would choose the same table right by the door. It was a small bar, and there wasn't much patronage, but a lot of trivia geeks. When two trivia teams got tied or something, I forgot how it goes, there would be a shots contest. 95% of the time, my dad would decline on the contest and just let the other team have the points. The other 5% of the time is when me, James, and the rest of the bar would peer pressure him into taking the shot. And he'd usually lose because he rarely ever drinks. 
He enjoys 80s music and 80s movies like Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Christmas Vacation. It's a holiday tradition for us to watch Christmas Vacation and Muppet's Christmas Carol, neither of which my mom likes, but she sits through them anyway. This past year, actually, me and Dad found out she didn't like Christmas Vacation. To my dad, it could have been a scene straight out of top 10 anime portrayals. Well, both him and Mom have always been really supportive of me and everything I do. I don't think I could have possibly had better parents. Honestly, I think they're the best parents in the world, but I guess I'm biased. And I'll probably repeat this for Mom's birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope to do it for like the next year or so, I guess. I mean, once everyone, all of my closest friends have had a video, I guess, and family members. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!